welcome everyone to actually uh, a special episode of Canyon Logos Party Dungeon. I am Canyon Logos, this is a party dungeon, and this is actually a single uh, video for YouTube exclusively. Uh, it's just a readout. So let's begin. Where is it? Ah, there it is. From the extra creature log. The worm tunneling terror. It was unexpected to find a massive worm so close to the frozen surface. Its skin, as tough as rock, seems to be hardened by the cold, petrified in a way. Those things, its occupants, deadly suicidal house guests, were they part of it? Living spit? Perhaps it's of its offspring. As the worm dies, several spawn escape. I wonder how many thousand years it takes for one to grow to that size again. The first of many many bosses. 2600 tons in weight, 800 meters in length. Dainé, well, I can't even pronounce that. Habitat in the ground. Let's move. The fathers, proud stallions of the sea. In their cozy home, they nurture and feed, give birth and grow. This is their call. Fear of destruction, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It is sane to sacrifice one's children for the lives of future generations. The fathers were afraid. There was no doubt about that. Overgrown seahorses, untouched, protected, safely guarded by fear. A hundred tons, 20 meters. Sing as something like that. <laughs> The Tranquil, ancient peacekeeper, my favorite. As the tunnel narrowed into a familiar shrubbed path lined with flowers and bedded with mossy grass, as one's grandmother's backyard floor patch may have been, the floor beneath sank. What is it protecting, really? It was almost as if it was trying to shield us from witnessing our own destruction. It's better to think of it as a killer. We'll all sleep better with a monster dead than with a guardian betrayed. Uh, uh, fuck you. Oh, I suck. The forgotten one. Slumbering behemoth. Where? Where skeletons decorate the floor and toxic gas speckles the already murky waters, only one creature sleeps. Its ethereal scales and bloodshot eyes reflect the decaying burnt surroundings. And it seems like years of living in waste and toxicity has granted it an eternal life. As our own species fell, maybe the last cities looked a bit like it, leaving a trail of waste, of waste behind, millions of sprawling germs hanging onto anything that might resemble normal life, clinging to that same skeleton as we cling to our cities. Big mother. Let's continue. <laughs> the false light it dwells in the dark. Darkness shrouds the Argo Nine, and only faint echoes from fissures shush any intruding sounds. The metallic creaks of the hall dampen like a thick woolen blanket, discomforting. The only truth here comes from bioluminescent jellyfish that stir and light up a path. How deep was I to go into the rabbit hole, into hell, 
before I meet the first of the candle holders, the leader of darkness. That dead lake-like silence began to grow and soon it felt like something was hiding, waiting and watching like it's done a thousand times before. Hey, hate that one. Concluded. Chingang, deep sea shore. It was in the middle of a hunting ground, smack dead center, with a spotlight to reveal my movement, to parade me as the exotic delicacy I am, soon to be feasted on. But alas, my hero, the criminal of the sea, with his bow and chain, arrives with the same goal. His carcass flows in a cloud of its own blood, and the small fish come to feed on its exposed bits of flesh. The circle of life, I suppose. This was the um, giant, <laughs> giant, massive shark carrying two, um, I suppose, deep charges or mines. Um, connected by a huge chain and surrounded by a sc school of sharks galore and in the middle of the arena there was a what was it uh, it was a, uh, a lighthouse there we go this mother the defiler unstoppable crustacean. My great-grandfather showed me a film where the hero was chased by a giant rolling boulder had still got out of harm's way just in time. Now a boulder would have been much more pleasant than long mantis claws pulling a lumbering armored body forward, closing in like lightning. Before I left, we were producing more trash than I could believe. Millions of tons a day. Space was becoming a problem. I guess future generations managed to fix that problem. Didn't help them though. Not like it helped me. <laughs> Indeed. He was a crash in a giant trash compactor. An earlier way to go. The parasite. Atomic bubblegum. I've been worse. I've seen worse things than death under here. There are caves where our waste, our sewage, has not killed but festered, giving life to abominations. The parasite clings to the weakened clams. It seduced. It seduces their muscles and leaves them helpless. In its infected new home, it waits. The grotesque predator of our nuclear fascination. I suppose it's better than facing Godzilla. <laughs> Indeed. And we saw a giant Godzilla, uh, like a statue, covered in algae. The experiment, the blood fuel Leviathan. This creature was reduced to nothing better than the turret built into the hollow building. There, as a mirror, being. You are just a machine, an experiment, an internal, internal production line of blood, of highway veins carrying oxygen to the lungs, to the heart, to the brain, and for you, poor creature, for the gun in your mouth. Its life, blood, has, was draining away, warming colder waters, buffering was its ticket to survival, and as its blood still poured out into abundant city waters, the only thing it could, it could was to live. Oof. Poor 
fuck. That occurs at least once. The heart of the city. Floral monstrosity. Almost every city I've been to has a heart, in some way or another, where people gather, or where the pubs are, or where an important statue is, or in its cultural spirit. But here, where there are no people, the heart is literal. This massive bouquet of disaster has remade the metropolis into a prosperous dwelling for generations of fish and creatures of all forms. But for what? So it can grow, so it can continue to consume. There, its heart pumps growing deeper and deeper into its glutinous darkness, with its urban rainforest bowed, gentrified for fat fishes. <laughs> I love that one. That one, that was a good one. The Guardian, Facility Defense Drone, Computers, Robotics, AI, Digital Space, our tools, our future. Uh, ID number 41282426777. And a fuck you. And that's it. That is all of it. All the bosses. Uh, this wasn't much, but I hope you enjoyed it. I I like reading. I, I wish I had a better mic, to be honest. But yeah, this was a really short one, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, everyone. And as always, I have been Daniel Loco. This has been the Party Mission, and I hope you all have a great night. Goodbye.